The Concord Chamber Music Society opens its 20th anniversary season in exciting fashion as society founder and violinist Wendy Putnam welcomes violinist Glenn Dictoro, violist Karen Dreyfus, cellist Andres Diaz, and pianist Mark andre Hamelan for performances of music by Kodai, Chihara, and Dvorak, Sunday, September 29th at 3 p.m. at the Concord Academy Performing Arts Center. The program begins with an early work by Zoltan Kodai, his Opus 7 duo for violin and cello. Born in 1882, Kodai studied at the Liszt Academy of Music in Budapest, where he met his lifelong friend and compatriot, Bela Bartok. A shared interest in ethnomusicology prompted the young musicians to conduct research by traveling through remote Hungarian villages, making recordings of native songs and dance tunes on wax phonograph cylinders. While this research would fundamentally inform the content of their music, the two composers would employ the syntax of Hungarian folk music towards different ends. For Bartok, the native music of his homeland and its relative isolation from the conventional melodic and rhythmic structures of Western Europe became the basis for a unique, highly sophisticated form of contemporary art music. In contrast, Kodai would pursue composition, research, and the development of a method of general music education on equal terms for the rest of his career, and the language of Hungarian folk tunes prevailingly appears in his music within the framework of late 19th century musical romanticism. In this regard, his duo for violin and cello, written in 1914, is fully characteristic of Kodai's style. The sweeping lyricism, boisterous energy, and imposing musical rhetoric that define this three-movement work belie the apparent limitations of the genre, enabling this pair of stringed instruments to create sonic textures that convey an atmospheric scope that ranges from the tenderly intimate to the most grandly symphonic. The program continues with a work written for Glenn Dictoro and Karen Dreyfus, the Duo Lirico by Paul Chihara. Born in Seattle in 1938, Chihara studied composition with Nadia Boulanger in Paris and Gunther Schuller at Tanglewood. His internationally performed catalog of concert works includes symphonies, concertos, chamber music, choral pieces, and ballets. Chihara's extraordinary creative range and skills as a musical dramatist has also led to commissions for more than 100 television and film scores. Describing his duo lirico, Chihara has written, This was a labor of love, and the piece is both an artistic tribute and a musical portrait of two wonderful musicians and lifelong friends. The music is both lyric and very personal, built on two well-known and beloved models. The hymn-like song Beast du Baimir from J.S. Bach's notebook for his second wife, Anna Magdalena, and the second theme in Schubert's immortal string quintet in C, which begins on a unison for two cellos, then grows into an unforgettable theme in two voices, certainly the very soul of romantic music. It seems that the duo inspires the friendliest competitions and warmest musical thoughts. The program closes with a performance of one of the most popular works in the repertoire for piano and strings, the Piano Quintet No. 2 in A Major by Dvorak. Completed in October of 1887, the creative freshness and technical mastery that permeate this work bear witness to the composer's astonishing artistic development during the 15 years since his initial attempt in the genre. That first quintet, which Dvorak would later refer to as an old sin and seek to revise before scrapping the plan and composing a completely original piece in the form, was compromised by a discomfort with the challenges inherent in composing large-scale abstract music in the Beethovenian tradition, in which the melodic material requires both a freshness that will bear repetition and a construction that potentiates its natural development over expanses of musical time. By the time Dvorak wrote his four-movement piano quintet number no. two, he'd mastered the ability to articulate his Czech folk music-infused creative impulses within the context of absolute music. Moreover, the music he wrote from the mid-1880s onwards displays a unique gift for adapting the old forms in ways that allow for greater poetic freedom while preserving their structural integrity. 
Thus, Dvorak's effortless melodic abundance, his fondness for Czech and Slavic folk genres such as the Dumka and the Furiant, and his highly colorful harmonic language coexist fluidly in this quintet to create one of the great masterpieces of piano string chamber music. We hope you'll join us on Sunday, September 29th at 3 p.m. at the Concord Academy Performing Arts Center as the Concord Chamber Music Society celebrates the opening of its 20th anniversary season. Thank you.